Hello and welcome to Tutorials. Again, after a long time. Hello, hello, hello. Today, we're going to be doing something quite awesome. We're going to be removing people from a shot, basically, shot cleanup. Um, this is kind of a, going to be a basic tutorial. There, there, I might do a more advanced tutorial later on in the future. Uh, but for now, we're going to do some of the basics. So what we have here is some footage. Um, this footage was from a short film. Uh, I didn't shoot it. I just I'm just doing some of the effects on it. This is one of the simple shots. Of, uh, one of the simpler shots on it to do. Um, and it's a people person replacement. Person replacement? No, people removal shot. Um, I was given the task of removing said person, said people, said van, and said person's head, who goes off and does some metal detecting. Look at him go. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to cover the van in this tutorial. That can be go for the more advanced tutorial later on, where I get some more interesting shots. But this is the shot. Um, it's shot on the Red One MX. I know, lovely. It's 2K res. Woohoo! Finally, some awesome footage to work with. So there. There we go. Um, I want this tutorial to be kind of quick, but I don't want to rush things. So here we go. Um, first thing we want to do is save this frame to work on. I'm going to save the first frame just because I did that normally. So what we're going to do is going to go to com composition. Say frame as file. Then go to this button here, which says Photoshop, and I'm gonna I'm gonna select TIFF because that's practically like that's like a raw file, so it get, keeps all the data. And I think I did trillions of colors. I think you c you don't have to do any one. You can do millions of colors, uh, anything. But yes, you click OK. You mean to click OK? Come on, there we go. TIFF. Okay, and then you just save it to wherever you want and press render, and it will render that single frame. So then you jump into Photoshop or uh, any other photo editing, excuse me, uh, software you have. Like GIMP, it's free, it's good, it's just as good as Photoshop. It just doesn't have as many features. It's still good though, it's free. So we're going to open our frame, and here it is. Now I'm going to I'm going to duplicate the layer with Control J because I like to keep things organized and in case of an emergency, I uh, I lose the the uh, some, I do a mistake or something, I don't know. And it's good to show before and afters. So yes, uh, we're going to select the spot healing tool, and I'm going to start with just drawing around these fine people here. And I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to keep doing it until I find something that works best and looks more natural. That looks, that looks nice and dandy. So yeah, I'm going to remove this guy. I'm going to select a nice area around him. There we go. It's, it's, it's added some rocks in. That's nice and natural. Uh, that rock could have been in place in front of the in the wall. Um, I, my brush is not very hard. It's a nice soft brush, so the edges are nice and feathered. Um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm gonna leave the van out for the moment. But a quick tip of what I did: I just selected that area, pressed copy and paste, and I just moved it across on a few layers. Kept doing it all the way across to here. Did the same with the wall down here, and blended it all together and just cut around the rocks. Yeah, very simple. Um, very easy to do. Uh, but I'll do it in the next tutorial. Uh, hopefully I'll get more sh different shots for you to edit with. So I'm gonna... You just save the file as whatever you want. I, just, I saved it as a TIFF again, just because keeping it raw, keeping it real. I'm just gonna jump back into After Effects. That was incredibly quick. That was pretty good. Um, you may want to spend longer uh, completely adding in new parts of the background to mask the people I don't know whatever you want so then I'm gonna import the frame I'm gonna this is here's some I did earlier I'm sorry I'm gonna just drag it on and there we go uh, for this shot I th this is the actual uh, edit I have used and sent off so I removed the van so you can see I added on more fence uh, it doesn't matter if you do that, as long as it looks natural, it's it's fine. You can get away with it. So I selected a nice small area for that. I added in it. It, it added in a rock for me, that w which was nice. Um, so if you you can't really tell. I mean, that zoomed in to about two hundred percent. If you if you look at it at that size, there's no way you can tell there were people there. If you zoom into eight hundred percent, I'm in a cliff. That rock looks natural. You can't tell there was a person there. All the best effects are the effects that you never see. 
and you don't know exist. Like a set extension or a, a, a wire removal, a, uh, a sky replacement, I could uh, add in some more hills back here, I could add in a change the clouds, I could remove these people, anything. I could yeah, I could remove the people, the post, um, there's a pipe over here I could remove, I could do anything. Those are the um, really good effects. If you don't know that they're there, they're amazing, you cannot tell. Um, the obvious effects, which you can see, are for example, the side of the cliff blowing up, or one of these caravans flying off into space, or these rocks forming together into a giant rock monster and smashing the crap out of everything on the beach. Yeah, that would be um, an obvious effect which you can see. So the best effects are the ones that you never see and you never realise are there. Good tip. So now, we're going to select, we're going to press T to bring up the opacity and we're just going to bring it down so we can see the ghosts of the people we've removed. And we're going to press G, which will bring up the mask tool. I love shortcuts. And we're going to mask around the areas that I know I have edited and removed peeps from. So I'm just going to select this whole fenced off wall thing. And this, and the way I've managed to automatically smooth these edges is with the Roto Bezier tool selected. It's very handy if you're lazy. Um, so now I've What's th what this has done is basically selected the area I have edited. Uh, if I had left, if I had not had the mask, the whole video would have been just a still frame. This cuts it out and lets the video. Oh, oh what, whoa, whoa, what have I done? Oh yes, that's the way. How silly of me! It lets the video play out, but we have a problemo. As you can see, there is a slight shake to the camera. It's not perfectly still. You can see, you can clearly see the edges here of um, where I cut it out. So what we're going to have to do is track it. Now, yes, you're going to have to select the footage and make sure your motion tracking workspace is open. Then we're going to click track motion. Uh, this is a particularly tricky shot to track. It may not seem like, but it is. It's because the motion, motion is so small that it just, it's really difficult. I tried doing really small points like that around that window. I tried using Mocha or Mocha, however you call it, the tracking software that comes with After Effects, I don't know. It didn't work. So I found that using a big wide box works the best. So I'm just going to make these box nice, boxes nice and big. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and keep it selected on the area that is that has the remove people on. Now I'm just going to press the analyze forward button and it will ooh that's got a bit of a jutter to it. Um, I'm gonna stop it there. I'm not gonna analyze all of this. It takes a long ass time. That did not work as well so I'm gonna try that again by making the search area bigger and the that whatever that is bigger. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset this actually. That's a a lot easier. I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to just put it over there. So make that nice and big. So make this nice and big. Please, no innuendos in the comments. And I'm going to just put it to the beginning and analyze again. This will take a bit longer. Yeah, there we go. That's looking good. So what you want to do is just track your shot. Make sure it's all nice and dandy. And, oh my goodness, what was that? Um, I would recommend tracking the area that you have removed the people on. If you track, say if you track a wall in the background, but then you track a post in the foreground, they're not going to match up at all. I don't know why that's shaking. Um, I guess that's okay. Um, yeah, try and keep the tracks where your removal is happening. So we want to make a new target. We don't want to apply any of this tracking data to the uh, frame because we may want to add in stuff later. So we're going to add a new null object. There we go. New null, null object. We're going to edit the target and select the null object. And then we're going to apply X and Y to the null. There we go. It's applied. So I'm just going to trim my comments just so I can have a good workspace to work in. There we go. And I'm going to then link uh, my removed people layer to the null. And if we press play, BAM-A-WHAM! It is moving along with the footage. 
which is what we want. But we're not finished. If we keep zooming in, you can see there's noise happening, camera noise around the edge. If you look here, this, oh, I keep pressing the hand tool. It's just, a, it's just a still frame moving up and down. There isn't any depth to it, keeping it real, man. So, yes, we want to keep it real and um, want to keep it gritty. If anything looks too clean and sharp, it looks fake. And people say, oh, hell no, that that is fake. So what we want to do is add some noise. So we're going to go to effect, noise and grain, noise. And I found that uh, removing, not using color noise, using a monochromatic noise works the best. And I also worked out that using 4.5 noise amount is good. If you if you use anything higher, it's just going to, oh, I hate you so much. Don't you just love it when technology screws you over? <sighs> Don't worry, I saved it. It's fine. Open reason. Oh, there we go. Good as new. Yeah, if we use too much noise, that happens. You don't want that happening. So we're going to just put it back down to 4.5. There we go. And that's it, basically. It's that simple. You could never tell that there were people there. I don't know what was happening. So there we go. I'm going to be really nice and I'm going to supply this section of footage for you. Not the whole thing, but this five seconds for you to work on. There, there will be a download link in the description. It will be the original 2K. 2K I am giving you 2K files to work with. Not some downscaled plur but 2k so if you can handle it do it I may include a, a smaller file for those of you who have less powerful computers so I'm not gonna give you the whole thing because it's from the film and I'm not gonna give you that I'm gonna give you some of the shots that I mean this is when they were being told what to do I'm not gonna give you any of the actual take so and also if if the, yes if the film comes out onto the interwebs I may put a link in the description for the film, the, the finished film, so you can see it and you can judge when people have been removed or skies have been replaced or something or something. Um, yes, so I'm going to be there's going to be a link in the description for the download and possibly in the future a link for the film if it gets released. Probably in a several months, maybe a year's time. I don't know when this. Um, it's a, it's a it's a long process, people. It's in post production. So there we go. I will probably make a. If I get more shots from this film, I'm going to be doing some more advanced tutorials on this. So, um, slightly more m more of a moving camera, um, closer to the camera, people running past. I'm gonna. There's a shot where the girl is in the foreground and there's hair blowing in the wind it's not that it's not that cheesy don't worry and um, there's a person in the background and he keeps switching positions so we don't want him we're gonna remove him so I may cover that as well uh, but that will be for later on uh, but for tutorial news uh, we are getting incredibly close to a quarter of a million total views that's redonkulous I mean a quarter of a million people have watched our tutorials thanks all gotta say thanks and subscribers we're doing pretty good on that uh, many of you have been asking when is the part two of the fume effects tutorial coming out it's coming soon i've had to i've had a heap of trouble with my computer i've had it in pieces on my floor for five months trying to make it work and it's finally worked in the process i may have wiped my hard drives so i don't have the footage anymore but i can still show you the techniques. It won't be the same, but you'll still know how to do the techniques of fire coming out the hand. I'm going to cover the shield and all of that juicy, crazy, awesome, flamey, wamey, fiery, wiry stuff. Yeah. And also, I may be making a 3D tutorial. 3D is in stereoscopic. Put on your glasses, have a party time. 3D. Uh, so, if you have 3D glasses, Tell me if you want a 3D tutorial, because I don't know. I don't know how, how many people would want that. So there we go. That is how you remove people from a background. I hope you enjoyed this. Go and download the footage. Go and edit it. Do what you want. You could even add up. You could replace a sky. I don't know. Do anything to this. I don't know. Put it as a video response, and we can judge them and have a nice, happy family of a...
video response. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just going to stop. So yes. Thank you very much, very but very much, very much for watching. I will hopefully see you again in the near future. Goodbye.